Welcome back to another episode, and today we are going to go over what's in my bluegill fishing tackle bag. Now, many of you guys that watch my channel know that all I've done basically all year, and even the past few years, is largemouth bass fishing, smallmouth bass fishing, pike, and a few other species along the way. So I just did a panfish video at a public park where I wanted to change things up and only target panfish. I caught smallmouth, largemouth, a few other things. So if you're watching this, and you're like, well, are you quitting bass fishing and are you only going to start doing panfish? No, this is for a variety in content, catching different fish, uh, even some better views. And just, I know that a lot of people on my channel like panfish and bluegill fishing. So, I mean, this just adds to the variety of content that I have. So anyway, plus it's fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the bag and show you what is in here. Now, it's not perfect. I actually, I've kind of been building this as I go. And we're going to start with in here we're just going to kind of go all over the place now, first up you do have the magic emerald shiners picked up a pack of these at uh the store because they look so lifelike and by the way you guys got to do me a favor if you know anything in the bag that i show you works or you like anything don't be afraid to comment and give me tips or what you think but anyway you see that magic emerald shiner it smells and looks just like the real thing um, I would fish these on a jig head, and you're going to see some of those jig heads and other things coming up. I'm just going to kind of go over what is in the bag. I mean, that's the whole point. So you do have the Emerald Shiners. What else have we got in here? I picked up the Panther Martin 6-pack for trout. It is the uh, the little spinners. I've used MEP spinners in all sizes, but the Panther Martins specifically I've never used. So again, let me know. I've heard they are good for bass, panfish, and trout. That is why I picked them up. What else do we got here? We do have a couple of crappie cranks that I got at Walmart. Okay, bluegill, panfish. You got the silver and black one. You do have the blue and chrome. Silver and chrome, excuse me. What else? Uh, the little gets it. Uh, little tiny jig heads for ice fishing. These are really good. I've actually used these for ice fishing before, but my preferred method for ice fishing is... Uh, wax worms on a jig head with a small rod but anyway let's not get too off topic in the side pockets you do have tape measure scale stuff like that i just take it out of my bass fishing bag and put it into my bluegill fishing bag uh, four pound monofilament if i'm going to be using float rigs and other stuff which i'm going to talk about for bluegill uh, i do want monofilament or braid over in this pocket you do have some eight pound fluorocarbon for like a liter or something and you do have stuff for a drop shot, little size four drop shot hooks, uh, fishing license, swivels, stuff like that. But anyway, we should be at the two or three minute mark now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over the stuff right here. This is going to be the meat and potatoes of this bag. So what I did is I took two big trays and filled it with stuff that I use for a bluegill, crappie, panfish, and even some bass stuff. And then you will have a couple of the other kits that I showed previously but anyway in previous videos so right here the first tray take a good look at that a lot of people asked in the last video what is the bobber that i use and that is the eagle claw weighted snap on float right there you get two in a pack and it is one and a half inch okay there's that you have the there's the bobber up close they're weighted so that's why they make the noise this was for the panfish magnets on the box it talks about uh, a weighted float rig some of the plastics you do have the power bait what the two inch grub you have the gulp minnow and the crappie magnet this is actually electric chicken and more crappie magnets and drop shot weights in here you got three eighths and quarter ounce you got um, teardrop and cylinder camera took a while to focus get these put back over here so, yeah, that's a mess. Anyways, get that in there. The jig heads that I picked up, you do have the Mr. Crappie by Stuart King and the 1 16th ounce. I know they look yellow, but they're actually chartreuse. And then you do have the 1 32nd white. And I also did get some of the crappie magnet jig heads in the last video. I just kind of like to keep this box like this. Never know when I'm going to need it or someone else is going to ask for something. So I keep it like that. And now let's go on to the next box. Now this is cool. You have more of those gets it little jig baits. That is a white silver one. This one is perch. 
I have um, other ones in the bag as well. And this right here is pink. Now, I get a lot of people, I didn't mean to do that. I get a lot of people that, oh, pink's for smallmouth. No, pink's for anything. It works amazing. And I did pick up $1 crankbaits. These are actually, what, cream fishing favorites, hard baits. You see these little things? I'm going to have to throw these on my light power or ultra light power action. It talks about a cinch knot, super easy. You do have this kind of bluish color. And then you do have a silver minnow looking one, if I can get it out of the box. So anyway, you just got some of these real simple. Here's one of those, those gets it baits right here up close. See how tiny they are? Panfish love those. Close that up. So again, this box, real simple. This box. Now, if you guys want to see like my bass fishing tackle bag and fishing videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I always do, I'm going to leave fishing videos and playlists and channels to follow in the description. And then at the end, you will have two largemouth videos up top, two smallmouth videos on the bottom. Moving on, you do have the crappie magnet kit that I picked up. Okay, see that? That is really cool. And what I'm going to do for a thumbnail, kind of getting sidetracked here, but I'm going to kind of go like this and here. Anyway, you have red with chartreuse, red and white. You do have kind of this silver pepper. You do have green and chartreuse, brown, whole bunch of different colors. In this crappie magnet kit, you get these, what do you call it? These slip bobbers with these little plugs. They're okay. And then you do get three jig head sizes. You get... Um, 8th ounce, 1 16th, and 1 32nd in pink and chartreuse. There you go. So, again, that is what we have so far. Super simple, easy, and fun. Now, on to the next part is actually what I went fishing with in the last video, and that is the Panfish Magnet Kit. Now, this kit right here, if you open it, of course, it's going to tell you all the colors. You get 10 of each color and then you get 15, 15 of the 164th ounce jig heads. There is what a panfish magnet kit looks like just in the box without being used. Okay. So once you start using them or once you use them and pre-rigging some of your jig heads because these can be a pain in the you know what. You can tell I've been fishing with these lately. That was definitely a bite. Come on. Just bit it just once. Just tip. Right on top of that weed. What the heck did I hook? A smallie. You're kidding me. That's not a giant, but that's an okay one. But yeah, I have this, and then I actually have a Shimano Sienna rod and reel that I'm going to go over and more pan fishing. But, I mean, sooner than later, I am going to be getting back to largemouth bass and smallmouth bass fishing. This is just something super fun that I like to cover because, I mean, I've been fishing for bluegill since I was a kid. Uh, the views are pretty good. It's a variation in content, a, a bunch of different reasons. So anyway, you've got, you guys got to do me a favor and let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing out of this? What do you guys like? My personal favorite is the Panfish Magnet Kit. Okay, I mean, that's awesome. But another thing, if there's anything that you guys think that I should add to this bag, let me know. In the next video, I'm going to be fishing with the kit or the panfish magnet kit again, and maybe the crappie magnet kit. So like I said, if there's anything you think I forgot or I should add, let me know. Um, I'm okay at pan fishing. I'm not the greatest, but I mean, that's part of the fun of it. I've caught some good, what, pumpkin seed sunfish, red ear sunfish, uh, bluegills. Yes, they're all in the sunfish family. Emerald shiner, that, that thing, look at that. But anyway, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And you're going to have videos right here and right here, largemouth and smallmouth fishing. Videos that I like that I want people to check out. So anyway, for the third time, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. And I cannot wait to go catch some more bluegill and sunfish. Just a lot of fun. 
very different.